So there we go guys, that is the finished result. What do you think? That is the butterfly haircut. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So on today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be doing the butterfly haircut. Still a big salon winner and a social media search explosion. People are still searching for this haircut. I'm gonna give you a really cool salon version, but also a way for you to understand in compressed cutting. I think that's the, what it's called, compressed cutting, compound cutting. I literally text Ian. He is in, uh, he's skiing. When you pull all the hair in one section and cut it, is that compound cutting? My head is literally blank. So if I find out before, the, uh, before this video goes live, I will edit over what I'm saying. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a horseshoe section through the top just to isolate this top piece. And then I'm gonna go from ear to ear. And similar to the ponytail haircuts, because everybody loves the quickness of it, I want to be able to show you this really, really quickly. So I'm gonna be over directing this forward. And we want it to fall around about the neck so it's just like really floaty. And then we're gonna pull this back out. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna pull the front forward and this will be the guy, I'm gonna cut that. I'll dry it, style it, and you're gonna see a butterfly haircut in minutes. But as a professional, as a professional, rather than using ponytails, I love using ponytails, but people are obviously, oh, it's not professional, you're showing people how to do it at home. I'm, I'm literally not, I'm showing people how simple it is to break down a haircut into sections to create a look. So this is basically gonna be as if there was ponytails in there, but every section is gonna be taken perfectly. There's not really bunching from the ponytails. This is going to be. All right. So I'm going to get this sectioned off. Uh, I'll break down the section in now so you can see what I'm doing. What we're going to do, horseshoe section around the back, central section up there. So again, from recession point round, again, that's just going to be like that. And then there. This is going to be pulled forward. This is gonna be pulled, I suppose, sideways like that. So that's what we're gonna do. The guide for this back is gonna be this section as it comes out here. Again, sectioning, pintail comb is so easy to section with. We're gonna go in there and we're just gonna come below the crown. I'm gonna put my finger at the back as a point of reference, just so it is easy to, uh, to link up because did you know, fun fact, even if you close your eyes, the fingers still meet. And the, your brain is connected. So there's that. Let's lift that hair up. Recession, recession. So I'm gonna go to there where that finger is. Straight round. And that's a little bit lower. But we can correct that. Oh, it's not. Absolutely bang on. See, I told you, close your eyes, bob, bob, bob. Just meets. There he is. Ian Davies Emerus has just confirmed compound cutting. There we go. I knew I was right. He can even tell me when he's had a little tipple. I wonder if he's on the Frangelico. We can't talk about drink on here, I think. Here we go. So, bumping this out of the way, like so. That could be easily in a ponytail. Section, straight down there. Oh no, just a little bit further forward. We just want to be kissing the back of that, that ear. Like so. There. And then following it over. Kissing the back of that ear again. Of course, she looks pale, doesn't she? It's sort of white, to be honest. I need a bit of sun. There we go. And I'm just going to, with this back section, section this out of the way. So the other day, 
when I was in here, I tried with this wheel to create a haircut. And it told me how many sections, stuff like that. Would you like to see that? Would you like to see it basically on the go? I'm like, spin it, Bob, spin it, fringe, spin it, two sections, spin it. I don't know. So we need to get you out of the way. Now we're getting into it. So compound cutting. We could section this into bits. Compound cutting is there for a reason. And the reason for today that we're using it is to create a lot of sort of like hardness and texture within it, within this haircut. So we want this to fall to the neck, which is there. And this is being pulled straight forward like that. So there. And we're just cutting a straight line down there. And this is what's going to give us that sort of butterfly layering. Now the other side. Now there's two ways to measure. We can go back to being down on the neck or we can pull this middle there and we'll just cut it off. Perfect symmetry guide. Now we can still see that guide beautifully here. My guide is there, look, I'll show you. Neck. And there we go. There we fell out. There we go. Perfectly balanced. Now what we want to do with the back, draw a central back section. So we want a central back section straight down there, central back, and we're going to pull all this out. So the guard I've taken from this side, and I can see it there, and we're pulling it out straight to this side, so there it is. Popping up that top there. And I'm standing there so you can see how we pulled that out. So let's just clip out that front if we don't need it. We've just taken our guide and out to the side. And because we are bringing it to 90 degrees and we're pushing it forward, it means we're going to maintain a lot of length here. But we're going to get shortness towards the front. You want to see the guide and because I'm working behind here now because I'm trying to show you it might be a little bit hard there's the guide just come to it here so the guide is just there and I know you're going to kill me because I'm wearing a black top I was working on blonde mannequin heads earlier hello here's my sister but I see my better fly haircut it cool like and subscribe right back to it so we've cut the front pulled forward we used a piece of that as our guide now it's all pulled to the side you can see again sorry i'm wearing black but that line is so blunt and i'll show you so this is compound cutting this is a technique that we use in salon when we create this which is why when I talk about ponytail haircuts and cutting it off in one, it is a technique, it's a compound haircut. It's just not seen as, as professional. And I would never cut someone's hair in the salon with ponytail, but it's just a great way of being able to see it instantly. But I might start doing these compound haircuts if I can. Let's go to the top. So what we will do with the top now is basically detangle and we want to over direct it all forward. And we've got two guides for this. And we know they're perfect because we've used them as a guide earlier. And our guide comes from here. And our other guide 
comes from there. So we find the guides, which are just there, pull forward, see, I'm just going to let that side drop so I can move my knuckles up a bit, same position, that's in, so I got now what that will create, when we've done it in the past, we pull the hair forward, create shape around the face. It's going to do exactly that. We pull from the back to the front, which means the back is going to be longer. The products I'm using today, five pumps, dream blowout. So this is a heat protector by Joy Co. Cream. Also speeds up the drying process with its active ingredients. I'm going to be using Blonde Life Oil and then to finish once I've blow dried and, and sort of give it some movement, Beach Shake. It's like a, it smells like Play-Doh, but it's like an oil-based texturizer spray. Absolutely lovely. So there's our Dream Blower in there. One, two, three. The Blonde Life. Blonde Life is a thick, oil but these mannequin heads can take it because they're they're very very processed let's take it out let's give it a little shake get our feet shake There we go guys, that is the finished result. What do you think? That is the butterfly haircut, cut in a compound method. Something that we do use in salon with a big and bouncy blow dry. If you love this as a trend for 2023, make sure you check out this video for another big trend for 2023. I'll see you in the next video.